Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. Really a pleasure to be able to sit before this production and do it, get it out to you, feed as I've been fed. Tonight was a, is a Friday night, and um, earlier I had been kind of working still all day dealing with that garage door and um, doing some work in a, one of the bathrooms. Kept me kind of busy all day long. I mean, really, uh, for a guy like me, it really kept me going. And so I decided to stop right about 9 o'clock, take me a good shower, eat me some greens. <laughs> and then I wanted to maybe do some jumping around, you know, to, for some bar hopping, as you might call it. See if any karaoke was going on. You know, I'm one of those preachers that love to engage in entertainment. Uh, before the pandemic, I spent some time doing karaoke, not that much, but I have in the past, but a lot of time. You know, get a chance. I like people. I like to be entertaining. I like to be amongst uh, everybody. And so, you know, I want to go out and see. But everywhere I went tonight, eh, they weren't doing anything. I ran across one guy, a one-man show band, and I guess as I was passing by, I saw him packing up to leave. I, I know you don't want his ladies dinner, but it was kind of cute. So anyway, I thought I'd tell you this. So, yeah, take your time and listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. This is important. I know you don't, a lot of you don't want to give more than two minutes. And um, if you can't see it in two minutes, you're gone. Well, that's okay. If you go, <laughs> that's on you. Listen, here's a piece of truth. I want you to know, America is being exposed. You know, there have been a lot of things that have happened in America that was kind of ugly. And America tried, at least the impression was given that they were going to move away from this kind of this ugliness. They passed laws. The law drove people who felt exactly the way they had been acting all along. But now because of the law, they felt imprisoned. They felt unhappy. They felt victims. And so, but the law didn't change, so people were compelled. Uh, others perhaps violated the law. You know, they did some ugly things, especially the ones who were licensed to carry guns and wear uniforms. They did all kinds of things, and others did it too, and those who did it usually got away if they did it to the right people, and that were people, black people especially. Um, but anyway, what has happened is that everything is mixed up. When this last guy came on the scene, people were unchained. This guy was freeing the people from the law. The law had kept them bay, at bay. But the law was not a good law, ladies and gentlemen. Here's why. Affirmative action. You know what affirmative action did? Affirmative action took something from the white people and gave it to the black people. But it left some white people without. So what did that do? It didn't serve anything. But the same old thing was going on. They just got switched around. No. They knew what they were doing. The system knew exactly what it was doing. It wanted to keep things that way. Because that's the way we operate. Lies. 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 And this guy came on and, and started lying and doing everything. And people said, hallelujah. They, they came out of the closet. They came from under the beds. They can lie. They can do what they want to do. They can hate and be racist and bigots. And they didn't have to be ashamed because the, the president of the United States, the most powerful man, they say, on the face of the earth said that racism and hatred and bigotry is okay, especially when you get black people. They're still nothing but animals, you see. That was what went down. Now, what did that do? That to divide the people more, to give the cops more reason to start 
even doing more killings of blacks, all these kinds of things. Well, what it did, ladies and gentlemen, it it is especially these lies about the election. <laughs> wow. Now, there are people who know darn well who, that this election, election was legitimate. But there are people who believe that it wasn't. And they got all kinds of reasons. Their president said it. Boy, why would he deceive them? He wouldn't deceive them. And they trust him because he freed them <laughs> from the law. And so he has this alarm ready on January 6th. They came forth, but there were few people who stood up and said, we're not going to allow this, and, and they outsmarted them, they stood down. Now this guy's really angry. He's putting in everybody. Now, all of what is happening, ladies and gentlemen, is this. That's the power of lies. The power of lies. He started telling lies and all over. You don't know what's the truth. You don't know what is true. You're so confused, you don't know what to do. Let me give you an example. I was watching something on the internet. You know, I'm an older guy. I've got a probably an old elf. People who get old, you usually have some afflictions and stuff, right? And so I got my uh, high blood pressure. You can imagine that. And uh, I, one of my medications has statins. So I'm looking on the internet and I hear this guy, this doctor comes on, he's talking about statins and he's, what are you doing? He's saying why you shouldn't be taking this medication for the statins. He says what the statins are supposed to do, but the side effects is, then he starts talking about how dangerous, how these side effects mess with other stuff and how really the statin is not really doing what it's supposed to do, that there's a better way. I always say this, right? And there's a better way. You sit and you listen to this kind of stuff, you say, wow. Wow, you used to start thinking, you're taking stands, you don't know what to do now and what to do. And then you sit there, maybe, <laughs> maybe if you sit there afterwards, 10 or 15 minutes, somebody else will come on, telling you the importance of standing. And they bring on renowned, everybody bring on renowned individuals, people who got papers. And each one of them standing up for, this, for, for opposite views. And then you still have to think about, you got to make a decision. It's a like, good God. <laughs> you got to make a decision. See, lies, it messes you up. It messes you up. And see, this is how people lose their countries. These are dynasties for somebody come in telling lies and people get so mix, mixed up. And what they do, they usually stay glued to the person who told the lie. The person who started the lie. They stay glued to that person because that's the, like the, the mother of the lie, the founder of the lie. So they like glued to, the <laughs> to that liar. Now, the, the comeback is the rest of the people want to say, well, we're going to change some things. Change some things. Man, I was telling you something. You know what the murder of George Floyd, after we saw it, how it really messed with the psychic of the world. It really did something, ladies and gentlemen. And we see how we responded. We even put a white man, police man, <laughs> convicted him in all, of all stuff. Now, I mean, you know, I guess there are others. But what I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, now they got a tape that's out about Mr. Green, Mr. Gregory Green. And I tell you, what they did to that young man, to me, makes what happened to George Floyd seem like nothing. Seem like that was easy what George Floyd went through. And we know it wasn't. So this must have been horrific what they did to this young man. And they did it a whole two years ago, a year before George Floyd. And did the same thing that people did, lies again. Lies again. Tape comes out and shows what really happened, but they lie. So here you go with lies. Now you're talking about comeback. Well, let's give... <laughs> you, I want you to say the things, whatever they're promising you, is, let's talk. Sure, they'll try to do something, but that's nothing. First of all, if that's all you can offer, these promises, they sound good. 
where you're going to give some money to this and you're going to give some money to that. That's going to help this, that's going to help that. You see? <clears throat> but see, what you're doing is like the medication that you're getting. It's feeding something, but it's not stopping the problem. It's, it's like something that's holding you down for a few minutes, but the problem still exists. And so you have to keep on getting the medication or you go into something else, what you call poverty, and then crime and violence and all that other kind of stuff. So you have to deal with stopping it. <clears throat> so when you've got these lies going on, how do you work a, a situation when people don't trust anything? They don't trust you, you don't trust them, so what you gonna do? You think they're interested in you saying you're gonna make it better? You think that they're interested in that? And if they're not interested in that and they can't get over and then they're willing to lie and cheat and, and, and kill, because that's what they were willing to do, look what you're up against. So you gotta be smarter than that. You gotta be smarter than that. How smart can you be? Be as smart as you can be. And how smart I suggest you be. I suggest that you flip, you flip the script. I look at it like this. Somebody's trying to take everything from you and snatch you and put you in hell. That's what I look at. And I call it evil. Why? Because it hurts. It's painful. It's sick and sad. Now, but I suggest there's something else you can do. If they want to take you all the way down, you take them all the way up. Take them all the way up. Now, what does that mean? That means actually giving of yourself, teaching one another to give of yourselves, to do everything possible to make sure that every last one of us, our dreams, your dreams, my dreams, your, all of our dreams come true. Even those over there who's causing the persecution, even those over there that's benefiting at others' expense today, their dreams come true as long as this it does not cause any pain or infringe upon the rights of others to enjoy their dreams. That's my advocacy tonight. That's my advocacy this morning, should I say. It's about 12.53. And I think you should consider it. Well, what does that mean? That means that no, any of us, you know, what are those things for survival that's required? Food, clothing, shelter, these things, essential. But no one, no one will be, den as long as it's possible for that stuff to happen, no one will ever be denied any of that. Not only that, they will have available to them unlimited and unrestricted education. Anything they want to learn to be the best that they can be, that they can be a part of what we are. The given the best. Not only, and beyond that, health care. You know you need that. Health care from the womb to the tomb. And the best, we're not saying we can't, we got to march for money for cure cancer. No, no money is in the way. You've got the liberty to turn loose, jump out there with all you got, and let's cure this cancer. Let's cure all these things that are giving people heart attacks and high blood. Get bigger than you've been. Bring the people with you. Bring all of them with you. See, you see, that's what I'm talking about. When people are invested and they got something coming back to them, now there are no lies. Why? Because nobody, that, they, you're rewarded. <clears throat> You, your involvement comes to you and you are grateful. And yours and yours and yours, everybody. So who you mad with? You mad that it took so long for you to get here. But finally, you got the opportunity. So I propose that when they want to come in all these lies, let them keep telling lies. But don't be focusing on it. Don't be talking about it every day, talking about they are lying. See, when you say that they are lying and going out there doing that, you're trying to convince some people to come over to your way and give you some support, thinking maybe you can pull over away from that spirit for a while. But see, that uh, here again, that does not eliminate the problem. The causes of the problem. So when you go digging and making sure that everybody, see what, well, I'm not gonna get into that. I'll refer you to some of my other videos. I guess you got it going right now. I think you got it going real well. So I just wanna say to you, ladies and gentlemen, when you got all the lies going, you don't know who to believe. There's one way you can do it. It's a, when you do something, make sure it works for everybody. Make sure it works for everybody. And that's on the good foot. Make sure it works for everybody. Who's going to complain? It's working for them. It's working for me. What am I complaining about? That's what they say. Now, let's make sure it's working for everybody. See, because if it doesn't work for everybody, somebody complaining. As long as somebody complaining, you're wrong. I don't care what you say. You're wrong. It doesn't supposed to be that way. 
So this is what I'm here for to tell you today. Now I think I'll let you go. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people and a man who's committed his life to make sure that as long as he's living, Ooh, that's something I want to share with you. But it's just taking too much of the time, so I'm not going to tell you now. Next time. Goodbye.